Welcome to Shape by Faith, a special series led by health and fitness expert Teresa Rowe. Get ready for an entertaining and spirit-led adventure while learning ways you can become fit in your body, mind, and spirit. Now here's Teresa. Hi, I'm Teresa Rowe, and welcome to Shape by Faith. We shape our bodies and hearts for God's purposes. I hope you enjoy these fun, drumming exercises along with scriptures dealing with difficult people. You will only need something to drum on like a ball or just make it up, just improvise and make it fun. You don't have to use these are pool noodles. You could use drumsticks, wooden spoons, whatever you have. Just have fun, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and start to warm up the body. I'm just gonna march in place. Just march in place here. And I'm gonna bring the sticks out to the side and front, and side and front, or the side and top, okay? So I'm using a stability ball as my drum. Again, you can use anything. And for my bucket, you can use a hamper, anything you have available in your house. Just find that rhythm, you've got it, march it, and let's have fun. Now we're gonna go two clicks side and two clicks on the front. See that no one repays anyone evil for evil, but always seek to do good to one another and to everyone. All right, let's go out wide march. And we're gonna go double. This is called doubles, just easy slide. Either your wooden spoons or your pull noodles, whatever you have on top, your drum. Keep it right here. But I say to you, love your enemy. Pray for those who persecute you. Do you pray for your enemies? Do you pray for those who maybe talk about you behind your back? The word says to pray and you will bless them. And you will be blessed as well because you know what? You're being obedient to the Lord. Shoulders are down. Okay, we've got this right. This is just a basic double. Now we're gonna go into alternating. This is just called single. Just single right here. We're gonna take the legs out wide and we're gonna single reach up. Just reach up and across. You can go across the body right there. Shoulders stay down. You can reach it up or again, you can keep it low. The word says, if your enemy is hungry to feed them, if they're thirsty, give them something to drink. All right, let's keep this moving. Just crossing over. Again, let's take it back to the march. And let's just right here go double on top. Just go double. I'm going to add a two-step to this one, okay? A little pattern. So you're going to leave your drum just for a second and come right back to it. So two-step and hit, two-step hit your top, two step and hit, two step and top. You've got it. Whenever you stand praying, we're supposed to forgive. If you have anything against anyone, right? Forgive them. Ask your Father in heaven to help you to forgive because he forgives you. Hit and two step. How are you doing with the pattern? One more time. Let's march it in place. Very nice. Now single. Go top, now side. Go top and side. You're doing great. Top and side, good. And now we're gonna add a little bit of a squat into this next one. So we're gonna go double and top. As you go out double to the side, I want you to go into that nice little squat. You can hit low. You can hit to the side. And you can also hit on that floor, just easy on that floor. Side, top, bucket, or floor. Very nice. So getting those squats in, continuing to move, easy with the hands. A gentle answer deflects anger, right? But a harsh word makes tempers flare up. Certainly does. And a few more of these. Let's do two more. How are you doing with this? Nice, now single. Let's just do a single. We're gonna go back to that reach up, okay? And tap out with our feet, tap out, tap out. And then go up and reach. Keep it moving. 
Very nice. Exhale as you're reaching up. Now let's bring the arms across the body. We're supposed to do everything without complaining and grumbling. Lord, help me with that. I know I'm not supposed to complain or grumble, so I need help. What about you? Keep your mind focused. Renew your mindset through Christ daily. Bring your arms up again and up. Good. How's your body feeling? You should feel like you're in that aerobic zone. You're having fun. You're breathing. You're alive today. And go back to that. Just that Martian place. Let's go double right here. Just take a breather. Just breathe. Deep inhale and exhale. Let's go side. Let's go side. Hold it right there. Nice. So we're going to stay here for a few seconds. Side, side, and top. Side, and top. Now I'm going to go down into a squat, all right? Go side, and top. Where it says, do not judge others. And you will not be judged, right? Don't judge others. And you won't be judged. Keep going double now. Go double. Shoulders down and back. How's your legs? How's your rhythm? How's your heart? Good. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live a life that's worthy and pleasing to God. Live it peaceably, right with all. Let's march. March. Double. Hold it. Double. Let's go single. We're going to go into a basic standing lunge. So hold the stick. Bring one leg back, one leg in front. We're going to reach one arm front and one back, okay? Front and back. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Front and back, we're gonna hang out here. A few more of these. Let's switch out those legs. And opposite leg goes back. Opposite arm goes front. You're going into this lunge position, so you're doing your stationary lunges. Hold it and breathe. Again, that core is so important in all these exercises to maintain stability throughout your body. Feel that shoulder work? Let's go to the march. Just hit on top. Hit on top. Single again. Go back to that single. Go double. Good. Go back to your single. Just hit it on top. And double. Double. Very nice. One more time. Go single. Easy with your hands. And double. Nice. All right, this next set, you're gonna go back into a reverse lunge, go into a fly, and hit top. So alternate your lunge, reverse it, bring it back, and then hit as you come to the front. And the word says, I can do all things through Christ, who strengthens me. Yes, I can. Yes, we can. And yes, you can. Shoulders down and back. How's your body doing through this? I know it's a little different. It's a little different workout. Variety is so good for the body, right? You don't have to have any rhythm. You can't mess this up. You just drum, just drum. And just move your body. So we're working through the shoulders and through the chest, definitely through the legs. Last one, right there. The next one is a sumo squat, so it's really, really wide, okay? So you're gonna scoot back a little bit because you're gonna go sumo squat, hit, triceps back. So there, and then back behind you. 
slow it down a little bit. How are you doing with this? I know, again, it's different. It's different for most workouts, but I love drumming. This is my commandment. If you love one another as I have loved you, right? So the commandment is to love one another as God has loved us. Are we loving people as we should? I'm probably not all the time if I'm super honest with you. So I know that in my heart. And uh, at the end of the day, I just, I go to God and say, God, forgive me for that. Help me to do better tomorrow. Last one. Very nice. Windshield wipers. Go out into a wider stance. You're going to bring the noodles over or your wooden spoons, whatever you have, just back and forth. Windshield wipers. These are kind of fun. They're great for the wrist. You can sit down in that wide squat or plie position. Hatred stirs up quarrels, but love, it always makes up for all offenses. Love always wins out, right? It always wins out. Keep it going. Just back and forth and back and forth. So your ry rhythm is um, going with your breathing. So you're inhaling and exhaling. Let's do four more of these. Back and forth. Two more. And one. Nice. Go to a marching position. We're going to go two step and click, two step and hit. Let's do that again. Nice. Two step and hit and click, getting our steps in. But I say to you, all who hear me, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you, right? So love, love, love always wins. All right, I'm trying not to hit the drum too hard. My sound guy will not like it if I hit it too hard. <laughs> so I'm trying to be easy, but you can go harder if you want. Last one, it's kind of fun to just hit that drum. It helps with stress, it really does. Um, if you need to relieve some stress, if you've had a hard day or you wake up and you're like, oh, I'm so frustrated today. Well, why not do some drumming and get rid of that stress and then rely upon the Lord at the same time. We're going to go into a two-step, the opposite direction. All right, so two-step, click, and then hit the top again. Don't be selfish. Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress other people, right? You don't have to. All you have to do is please the Lord. So in everything you do, does this please God? Am I trying to impress others to win their attention or their affection? Or am I doing what I'm doing to honor God and to please Him? And that's being kind to one another, right? Being kind, being tenderhearted, and being forgiving. How are you doing with that two-step click? A few more of these. Speak the truth in love. All right, just speak the truth in love. Growing in every way more and more like Christ. Nice. Keep it moving. So you're using a lot of arms with the drumming. I'm keeping it real basic today, so let me know if you like this style of workout, and we'll do another one. We'll make it more advanced, okay? And last one. All right, now march in place. I'm gonna march up to one corner and bring it back, okay? Then march up to the other corner and bring it back. Just walk it up 
and bring it back and up to the other corner and back. Let's do it again. Bring it up and back and up. In me, right? You will have peace in the world. Let's just face it. We're going to have some tribulation, but take heart, the Lord says. I have overcome the world. Amen? The Lord has overcome the world. Yeah, we're going to have some hard times, but know that you can get through those hard times. God will sustain you in everything. He will. The thing is, we've got to go to him. March in place. Let's go back to those doubles. Let's go double. This next exercise, I really like it. It's sort of like a chop um, for the core. It's called repeaters. You're going to bring what you have over the shoulder and hit your drum just like that. Just like that. Now, if you wanted to use your leg, that inside leg, you'd start to move it, okay? Either with the knee up or you tap it. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Again, that's real important to love others as God loves you. So this gets the heart rate up for sure. So if the legs are too much, just keep them low. Just use those arms. Work in the core, work in the waist, shoulders. Two more. Last one, good. Let's reposition to the opposite side. And again, we're gonna bring those noodles over your shoulders. We're just gonna hit, do a little rotation here. If you want to use the legs, you can do that. You can tap it. You can knee lift it. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. It's better to be a peacemaker and not a troublemaker. Make peace. That doesn't mean that you can't speak the truth in love. But don't be a pot stirrer. You know what I'm saying? Gossiping, a prayer gossip. You know what I'm saying. Don't stir it up. Just love. And be a peacemaker. Three more. One more. Whoa. Okay. All right, we're going back to the windshield wipers. We're just going to move them back and forth. Now, let's progress this one a little bit. Let's sit down in those legs and let's start to move through the waist. Just back and forth. Inhale and exhale. Okay, now this is in the Word. Don't make friends with a hot-tempered person. Do not associate with someone who is easily angered. Do you know anyone like that? Surely not. So um, it's, it's, better, it's better to surround yourself with people that are peaceful. But let's just say, when you're doing ministry, you don't have that choice sometimes, right? You're around all sorts of individuals. You just be that peacemaker, and you just bring the love of Christ into the room. All right, shoulders and forearms and core. And last one, and hold. This next one is just a crossover. You're just gonna cross that stick across that other stick. Now I'm gonna add a little rhythm to this. I'm not a drummer at all. <laughs> Here we go. Give all your worries and cares to God. You know why? Because he cares for you. God cares for you. So we're just going back and forth, back and forth. How are you doing with this? Isn't this so good for the brain? I mean, it really is. I also teach senior adults, and they love the rhythm. They have a lot of fun with it, and it's great for the memory. It really is. I believe anyone can do this style of workout. You could even do it seated. You don't have to stand up. All right, a few more. Last one, nice. This one goes doubles, top and side top and side. I'm going to add a diagonal lunge. Okay, here we go. Side, top and side. You got that? You can do it. So double on the top 
and then go out to the side. And you're doing that diagonal lunge. We know that love is patient, right? That's what the word says. And uh, love does not envy or boast. It's not arrogant. It's certainly not rude. And it does not insist on its own way. So, you know, we all are a work in progress in the potter's hand. And um, there's always areas that we need to be working on, right? And we don't do that on our own. We don't do it in our own strength. We say, Lord, help me not to always want my way. Help me, Father, to be a team player in your kingdom, advancing your kingdom for your purposes. One more. Nice. So single hit on top. You're doing great right here. How's your shoulders? Loosen up those hands a little bit. And single hit on the side. For nothing, nothing will be impossible with God. Go back to the top and side. Again, go top and side. Very nice. Let me know how you like this workout, okay? I think it's very interesting. I think it's great for brain. Uh, for the memory, for getting rid of stress and anxiety, releasing everything to the Lord as you're drumming. You know, it's a great workout, it really is. We're marching in place or you can stand or you can sit. One more. And last one. This one's a modified jack. Tap out, tap overhead, tap top, same thing. Just like this, modified jack, just tap it out. You can add whatever you want to it. I mean, you could add a hop, you could leap, whatever you want to do here. Modify jack and hit. Good. Working those shoulders again and the chest. You're reaching. Last one. We're going to reach up and hit. Reach up. Up and reach. Don't get involved in foolish, ignorant arguments. It only starts fights. All right, we need to avoid that as much as possible, right? Reach and cross and breathe. Are you still breathing through your mouth and your nose? Tap it out and hit. Four more of these. Three. One more, and last one. Go back to your march. We're gonna go into some hamstring curls. Step ham, and double, double. You got it. You feel that rhythm? Notice your breathing, your movements. A servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but must be kind to everyone. Being able to teach, and be patient with difficult people. Do you know any difficult people? I'm sure I'm difficult to some people. <laughs> they have to be patient towards me and loving and kind. We need to do that with one another, right? Make allowance for each other's fault. Don't be hard on people. I'm preaching to the choir. Keep it moving. Hamstrings, back the legs, front of the legs, shoulders and arms. How's your core holding up here? Four more. And two to go. One more. Very nice. Go back to that march. We're going back to the repeaters, okay? So uh, one leg steps back. Remember, you're going to bring those sticks over your shoulders. Just hit. Just easy, right there. Gently instruct those who, who oppose the truth, okay? Perhaps God will change their hearts and they will learn the truth. So again, we're all a work in progress and what I do is I pray. If I know someone does not believe in the word or maybe they partially believe in it. I am careful. Um, I'm careful with my words and I always, always, always say, Lord, 
Help me to keep my mouth quiet if I'm not supposed to say anything. And Lord, draw out of me what you want them to hear, not what I want to say, right? But what you want them to hear. And help me to do it in your love. Three more. And one. All right, let's go ahead and let's switch out those legs. Same thing, working the core, keeping those legs real strong. The word goes on to say, don't just pretend to love others. Don't be a fake. Don't pretend. Ask the Lord to help you love them, really love them. Hate what is wrong, but hold tight to what is good. And God's created every single person for his purposes. Every single person, right? And so he's got a plan for every single one. Past the bad. And look at what God sees. Look at what he sees. Look at their potential. Remember where you were long, long time ago? Remember that? Well, remember that when you run into people who... They don't know the Lord like you do. Be patient, be kind, and be loving. Last two. All right, let's go ahead and put one down. That was a great arm workout and <laughs> core. Bring the arms out here and hold. And we're just gonna go ahead and bring them up. Stretch and reach and lean over. The word says, peace I leave you, right? Bring it up. My peace I give to you, bring it to the other side. Not as the world gives you, now bring it out in front of you, but as I give you, rotate to one side and hold and bring it to the front. Bring those arms down and up, rotate opposite side. So let not your hearts be troubled. Bring the arms down and back up and neither let your heart be afraid. Lord, help us not to be afraid. Help us, Father, to go to you with our hearts. Thank you, Lord, as you examine our hearts. Thank you, Father, for this workout. You are with us. I pray for everyone doing this workout with me that you would bless them tremendously, that you would let them know how much you love them and how much you care for them, that you've got great plans for them. And bring the arms up. And then go into a little bow. Ta-da! You did it! Thank you for allowing me in your home today. And I hope you're motivated to continue preparing yourself to be the best you can be. As we continue working out in His Word, God will bless our bodies and our hearts for His purposes. Until next time, friends, may the Lord bless you and keep you safe, healthy, strong in your body, mind, and spirit. Tune in next time as we continue shaping bodies and hearts for God's purposes with Teresa Rowe as we all become shaped by faith.